got a Ford Explorer that's hanging off something. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are on the top of the mountain, North Bay, Gatlinburg. I uh, got a car in the ditch. Rainy, nasty day. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. Hopefully, it wasn't uh, too fast around the corner. Hopefully, it was just a. I don't know. Maybe they just backed into it. I didn't get any details. She did say it was a small car, right? Um, I can't remember what type of car she said it was, but she said it was a small car. Wow, she's in there. You guys don't like pulling downhill. Let's see if we can. Not even a small car. Tires on the road. Boy, oh, that's a long way down. Ooh, yeah. I'll run out and get some cones up here in front of us because I would imagine someone coming around that corner, they probably have a hard time stopping. Especially since the roads are slick. Hello. I was going to pull it out, but it said on the frame. I was going to pull it out. Yeah, it usually uh, ends up getting oil pans and. Uh, yeah.
will eventually touch down. <laughs> I think it'll help me get a little forward out of that ditch too. All right. Yeah, that road does. Yeah. 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 Hop out of his way. There we go. Excellent. She backed into it. Looks like she's not the first person to be in this ditch. There's some marks here. Those are hers. These are older marks. Also some older marks. Yeah. We're good to go. Well, somebody called us for help. Said they didn't have any money and didn't know where they were. Gave us a couple of different in between locations. I'm not sure if this is them or not. It's that they've been in their car for three days. You would think if I pulled up, they would get out. Windows are so black that I can't see anything, so I'm a little... Do you want to try calling him again? Weirded out. Hello? Hey, buddy. Is, it, is this you in this little silver Ford Edge here that needed help with the tire? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'm... Yeah. Gotcha. Just making sure. What's happening, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. What? It, the spare spare got a hole in it, or is it just flat? This pair's just wore out. I mean, I could probably get the wheel off there, but I don't know. Yeah. That's crazy. I know what it is. Thanks, guys, for your time. Um. Yeah, I need that wheel off. I mean, that's that, 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 that every time. I mean, I get a piece of board. Oh, I got a guy down there who can help me out. Me and her just now came back up here. Yeah. I just want to hear Dude Ward ask if his money be made right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully, um, I wish he had a good spare. We could see if we could get the spare. But if it's flat too, then I guess that doesn't do you any good. No. I don't. I get that wheel off. That will be awesome. I don't know what I've got. Let me see if I. Let me see if I got a socket. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just eating that tire up. Smoke. 
That's too long. Don't fall trying to call somebody. Yeah. Jack, man, that jack is gonna slip off that jack where I tried to play it earlier. I ain't put kick back from my ankle. It's gonna hit me in the ankle. It about got you, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just a tad bit low on air. I don't know, man. That's in there. See, the probably gonna need to probably have to go and get towed and get cut off there, I'd say. I got a little four pound beer back here in the car. Yeah? Yeah. See, I don't know. This one does pretty good because it's thin. I would have thought that thing would have broke by now. You got that thing was walking farther off than all I had it. Man, it won't. It won't go at all. It's trying to break. There it is. Finally. Jeez, oh Pete. Well, we'll just leave that in there for future references. Yeah. Uh, now I guess we got to get some sort of jack up under it to get your, let me get my big, my big jack. That jack of mine it had that little clamp that goes on the little cylinder. Yeah. That thing popped off and everything, I was pushing the cylinder up to the and the jack it back down. Sounds like you got lucky. That's what's bad, I was on the money. We still had to get a tire. That one, it came and spun with my fingers, but I hope you got a few of those extra ones. Man, I don't know. I might even, I might even come back there, but probably ain't gonna be high enough for you, is it? I'd say it probably might still slide towards us. Will it come out here next to mine? I don't know where that... There's a lip there someplace. I'm on it. You on it there? Man, that thing still wants to roll, doesn't it? Is it... Is the parking brake set? Is it settable? That way it might keep it from rolling forward. I'll at least keep that jack from sliding. Well, I don't know, guys. Hopefully, you can get that over there to him and. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody stop now. I had somebody stop earlier. I should get the tire off. Yeah. If you can get it to run. He did have that mobile service there for the longest time, but. Yeah. He must have. make you guys? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. second chance tire, and he was. I don't know, he did it there for a while. Maybe now that it's off, you might be able to get him to slide you a new tire on it. Well, he told me he'd help me with a tire if I just got it down there and I could run around and throw him some money after I got the door dashing. Gotcha. Uh, where are y'all located at? We're, we're down here off of Newman Road and then we've got another spot in Pigeon Forge. You got? Yeah, well, I'm on. I, I'll get Is he... around, I'll bring y'all some money. No, man, I ain't worried about that. You, you got? Let me see if I've got some cash I can get you so you can get maybe an Uber over there and an Uber back. That might, if you can get a cab ride over there and take carry that with you, you might be able to. I can get it back. Let, let me see what I got in a, I got a bill. It's yours if you want it. I'll get, man, I'll, I'll just go up and get this back, man. Man, it's cool. God bless you. It's cool, man. I, just be safe. Hopefully that'll. Hopefully that'll at least get you over there and get that tire put on. That way you can get back. But I, I just I'd get a cab or an Uber or something. Or you you might get somebody that'll carry you, and you can save that money for something else. I, yeah. But if if all else fails, I'll be running around here. I'll just be a while before me. I can get back over to Pigeon Forge. All right. I'll but but maybe the money maybe the money will help, my friend. Thanks. All righty, man. Thank you. Okay, guys. That was quite the undertaking. Had one that we finally beat and beat until I got broke. 
and that was the goal to break it off because it was just spinning the stud all the way through he said he had some people that were going to help him get over there to get the tire uh, taken care of and his brother from alabama sent him some money to to try and get the tire fixed but he couldn't get the tire off so hopefully by getting that tire off there he can get over there to to get uh to get that mounted up and and back over here i would i would try to take it over there but guys i don't we're, we're in the tow truck here and I, there's two of them and i i don't have enough room to to do that and i really being as they're, they're this far down on their luck i definitely don't want to leave them to walking in the rain so maybe they can get back in the car and he sound like uh especially with the donations guys we appreciate the donations i gave him a little bit of money to get a cab ride and maybe even the tire so he can get over there and get that taken care of and get back over here to to get that i'm not sure but we crazy story we ran into them just just a couple of weeks ago they were they're in the middle of the road ran out of gas and uh we come around the corner and just all but ran into them there it was was really intense they they decided to uh luckily we're close we, we i loaded them i loaded the car up and took it back to the gas station we got some gas put in it for them and and uh but they had been stopped by the police the police were kind of leery of of the situation and to be honest i was too and, and still am they're just i don't know they're here to make some money i understand that but the gal was acting very strange and she was acting very strange the first time around or maybe she's just making light of the situation i don't know but she just kept saying, I just think it just needs a little bit of air in it. I don't I think it needs a little bit of air in it. I, just, it was uh, just a weird, just a weird thing. Anyway, guys, uh, we appreciate the help. We do. Um, and we always try to help out when we can. And hopefully that little bit of money and, and at least getting that off there, he can, he can get that tire taken care of. And he said he was going to try to just go back home and get a regular job. Uh, we see this time and time. It's, it's a great area to make money. It really is, especially for the the uber drivers and and things like that but you got to be able to to continue and, and keep up on your stuff and it's just a really really crazy thing but anyway i'm gonna quit rambling we're gonna get back to work we appreciate the support guys thank you for helping us so we can help others and we will definitely keep our eye out on them like i said this is the this is the second time we've crossed paths with those with those folks and if uh if they can't get a ride over there to get that tire then we'll uh We'll see if we can get the ride over there and get it mounted. But I think they'll get it taken care of now and uh, hopefully get in a better place. <laughs> I think that's who it is. This happens all the time, guys. Big old church bus decides to pull in to this parking lot for whatever reason, to either turn around or drop people off. I don't know. It is a church but it's not church, it's not touring bus. Friendly, no. Friendly at all, no. It's funny that uh, we've, we've taken our truck and, and rescued some of these. If you guys watch some of the videos from, from Ski Mountain, I think I, I got one of this exact same size from Ski Mountain. And he's out. Just like that, he's out. I, they don't think about, you know, coming at it more of an angle. They just whip in there and and uh and bottom out it's always it's always crazy hundreds of marks in the road yes it this is constantly right here on this on this spot just like our ski mountain stuff over there that we've got it's uh and i guess you guys can see around this thing but they'll just drag him backwards get him unstuck from the the lower half there and send him on his way it works big shout out to uh, bakers the guys are awesome uh, we enjoy working with those guys over there and, and they help the area tremendously and he's yes, got he's got one of the bigger trucks in the area and uh thank goodness he could come and help out for situations like this he uh he was just up our way with that rescuing that crane crane that turned over so he's got his hands full on on hooking up some of this bigger stuff that gets in trouble on on these mountain roads but he always makes it happen so stick around stay tuned
<laughs> Welcome back. Upper Alpine Way. Sounded like some younger folks that uh, got themselves into trouble. I had a little background noise and uh, mom and dad was on the phone and they were trying to figure out the best situation and they come to the conclusion they should wait on the tow truck. Got a Ford Explorer that's, I, I don't know, hanging off something. Probably wise to wait on the tow truck. Well, there was a bunch of them, so I don't know, I wouldn't guarantee that they were still waiting, but uh, it took me about 20 minutes to get up here and that's as fast as I can make it happen. Oh, there it is. We've been here before. I think the last time I pulled it to me, didn't I? I think I think the last time you went past it and pulled it that way. That's what I think you did, but I could be wrong. But he came from this way, obviously, so maybe he needs to go back the way he went. I don't know. Hello. Um, well, at least it's still upright. Yeah. Yeah. Is it going to be okay? Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Uh, I think I've been here a few times to this spot, actually. Oh, same, yeah. same situation. Okay, uh, good. I, were you just trying to turn down into it? No, I, we were trying to just pull in because we were just going to stop for a second. So I pulled in like this, uh -huh. and then I just turned too soon. Okay. And then I tried to reverse, and that's how it happened. Okay, okay. I think the bottom part's going to be fine. Yeah, it looks like it's on that muffler right now. It is, yeah. um, if I was going to be on anything, I think I'd rather it be on that muffler than the, yeah. the gas tank. Or... Yeah, exactly. yeah, I'll probably just try to scoot it back Maybe this way. Are they, these people are trying to get through? So. Okay. Hey, I can, I can try to let you guys through before I get set up if you're... Okay. It's up to you, brother. Yeah, let me let me see if I can scoot over to the side. I think you can make it around them. At least I can let you guys through because I'll be just a little bit hooking. Okay. I'm gonna let them through. Don't go too far to the uh, Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just going to go straight through, I think. Okay. I'll put some cones over here. What you looking at? Well, usually if I pull up on that, then I pull up on bumpers and... Yeah. Uh, I, th I think I might want the other one. Do you think those are cross? Wait, where are you going with this one? To here, to lift, and then I need another one to drag. Okay, yeah, I can swap one. This is... That's my drag. Yeah. Okay, I guess I want this one then for my lift. I'll get it when she... That's what, that's what? Yeah. Yeah, it should be. If everything. It'll be okay. It's front wheel drive, so.
Let's see if I can. Almost got it, but this cable's just too close. <laughs> yeah, that one's just too close. I just need a little bit and I don't have it, so I just need it to be in the air longer. Does somebody have the keys? No, I've got a bunch of pressure. I think it'll lunge backwards once I get it. Are the keys in the car? And the cup holder? Are they not? It says no key detected. I don't. Thank you. Eighteen. All right. Eighteen. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. YouTube channel. Anybody? Any I last tagged, thoughts? I tagged you on the TikTok. <laughs> yeah. You guys. Hopefully, you'll have some more fun when you're uh, not hanging off of that stuff. <laughs> what a good group of kids. They were. They're some awesome kids. So, well, mom and dad, you, you should be proud because they're very responsible and they didn't roll the car down off they waited they did the right thing 
you know, the driveway is, it's, it's scary up here. I've been to that driveway like three times, so definitely not their fault. It's just, uh, it's just hard to maneuver, especially if you're not used to, to our terrain, but uh, yeah. Hopefully mom and dad will go easy. Yeah. <laughs> no, it happens all the time. People of all ages, all races, all genders, it, it just, it happens. But anyway guys, yeah, Upper Alpine Way, um, you just got to be careful what you're turning into driveway wise. I mean, like, look at this driveway. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, good thing they've got a, a railing up there because if you turn too soon, um, you're not going to be in that driveway. And uh, a lot of the places up here do a pretty good job of putting handrails to mark entrances to these driveways, but there are a select few that, that do not. And um, Looks like we've got a new one going in here of some sort. Getting ready to start cutting a driveway, aren't they? Certainly looks like it. I'm sure it'll be steep, crazy, and dangerous. <laughs> just like this road. I mean, look at that, guys. That's that's just crazy. That's just... I mean, if you... No shoulder, straight drop off. You're going down <laughs> like sweet muffins. <laughs> Another beautiful day in the books, guys. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching and all the support on the channel. We've still got plenty of merch. We appreciate uh, seeing everybody in town running around in their hats and t-shirts and uh, and stickers and all the cool stuff that we have. It's just really cool to see that stuff coming, you know, for uh, from out of town and, and you're you're supporting our channel. So grab yourself one of those. Got plenty of those in the merch store. What a view! Absolutely beautiful. Goodness. You got yelled at yesterday for looking at the view. I did. I was uh, up on Yeah, so sorry, whoever that was. He was just, I don't know, looking at the view. I do love this cabin here. Beautiful. I guess I'll just give you guys a little bit of this footage anyway. I know a lot of you guys reach out to me and say, hey, I, I only watch the channel to to see the scenery i don't i don't care about you and Kristen and winch outs and nasty illegal barkers i just want to see the scenery the scenery and, and the uh, bears and the whatever so i like to bring that and where we're at because a lot of people are like yeah I, I know that spot i've been there and for those of you that are out of town and can't come and drive these roads every day like we do we're just we're very lucky Fifth time up here in 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah. Something's in the air. See him with his phone in front of the steering wheel. Looking at his phone, driving on this road. Yeah. That's how we get our phone calls. That is scary stuff. Water towers on the end of paint. <laughs> Needs a big mural on it. They should just paint it to look like the trees and just blend in. Park Tower Inn, I've seen it over there. Definitely stands out, doesn't it? How about this one too? Their landscaping is just. Yeah, they got a really good cool spot. I think it's green once again, guys. Springtime has popped brings us back to our famous spot where the coach buses drag. <laughs> Look at all those drag marks on the road. Everything drags. Oh, yeah. You may have dragged a time or two. Yeah, Pull I think I've had a little car down through there. Had a couple of them in the rollback or really cool view up here on, uh, on this back road to get over to the, to the park. What is that called? Eagles something? Eagles Nest? Or? Eagles Nest. This over here is Rabbit Property. This is the new building but here. What a view that it offers. I'm not sure what that rental looks like. but That's that's not a rental. It says private property. Right. Private residence. Look at that, guys. Here's the park tower again over there. Now there are these cabins here and up over here behind Jeff's head and it's it is a Phoenix Landing I believe is the name of it. Yeah Phoenix Landing. That you could stay there and 
yeah, Phoenix Landing. And see this. It looks really good. This big old place down here burnt, and they have rebuilt both of these huge condo. Which is going to be really cool to have those up and going again because, golly, that's that's a lot. That's a lot, and that offers the best view. I think. I think this road up here offers the best view of the, of the backdrop. But just off the Gatlinburg Bypass, you guys are headed up into the National Park. It's all of these rooms and condos and crazy roads. But uh, anyway, not much more to see. Uh, headed back down to the bypass and uh, we got to get back to work. Thank you. 